Hi, how's it going? <clears throat> it's my first time making one of these videos. I'm just going to walk you through what I do as far as like making um, a design for a t-shirt. Uh, it's pretty simple. I use um, a program called GIMP, which is free. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. It takes a little bit to get used to if you've never worked with it before. There are several like tutorials you can find on YouTube. That's how I learned um, as far as like, using it. I used to make uh, stencils for graffiti. Uh, that's the, probably the best way you can probably, I guess, uh, search on YouTube as far as like getting comfortable using the program GIMP. Uh, it's kind of like Photoshop, I guess. I never really used Photoshop before, but that's just what I associate it with. Um, like I said, it's pretty easy to use once you kind of get the, the basics down. Uh, the best thing to do is I look for like how to make um, like stencils using GIMP, and I will kind of walk you through the basics of using GIMP to like set up as far as like you know, making cuts and stuff for uh, the Cricut Air, but this is what I do and how I um, make my designs. All right, here's a program that I use. It's called GIMP. Um, like I said, it's free. Uh, everything's kind of in black and white. They changed uh, the layout of everything. It used to be like colored and I still get kind of confused on like some of the, the button options for it, but it's basically like a mix between like I would say um, paint if you ever use paint but you have like a lot more options um, but this is what I use like I said it's free um, yeah all right so the next thing I do is I use Google um, I already have like a image lined up or an idea of what, um, what I usually do like I said um, I'll Google search like this right here I Google searched uh, Native American uh, profile which is like a side view which is this is what I'm looking for um, what you want to find when you do this is like the best image quality like, as far as it being crisp like sometimes when you um, click on the images they'll be kind of like, distorted a little bit but you want the best quality um, picture that you can get so I'll do I'll get it I'll find it and then I, I'll save it to like uh, my computer as far as desktop and everything next thing I do is this is the image that I'm going to use um, the other image, I guess, is going to be like a little bit of photoshopping, but it's a, a Google search like terrorist uh, profile with AK or terrorist with AK uh, profile. And it's a side view. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. Same thing, like you look for the best quality um, image that you can get. And I'll save it to the profile and open it up, or save it to my desktop and I'll open it up in uh, GIMP. Okay, so I got the profile picture on the side. The Native American chief. Don't matter which way they're facing because you can use GIMP to mirror the image, which will which means that you'll flip the image to like face the same direction. So with the Native American chief, um, I don't want to necessarily use the face, so I'm gonna switch that out with like a skull. Um, there's an image that I found off this uh, Indian motorcycle um, that someone did, which is a custom Indian head motorcycle uh, logo with the like a skull, um, I guess, design. But I like the skull face, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, and I'm going to stick it onto this Native American chief uh, once I get through working with it through GIMP. And I'm going to switch back to GIMP. I'll do everything, and I'll show you what, um, I guess, the finished product once I complete it. Okay, so here's the images that I opened up um, from the internet. I can save them and open them uh, through GIMP. There's all three images. Now, like I said, once you YouTube it, you know, it's pretty basic um, how to operate and everything. Like you just go file, um, open, and then you just select it wherever you save them at. Um, you just like double click and open them. Now, sometimes they uh, they give you like a little message. I don't know if this will do it again or not. I right hear this will pop up. Um, what I always do is just hit convert and it changes. I don't know what keep does. I always hit convert. But that's just, just what I do. Uh, you can play around with it if you want. Okay, so I'm going to work through all this stuff and change everything into basically like a stencil. Uh, let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you. Alright, so this is a quick thing, I guess. You hit this little lasso up here, which is going to give you the option of like making different points. Now you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just around his coat and maybe his hand. There's like different points and you know loop it back together. 
and that's just gonna select that area and that's all you're gonna change um, the reason why is like what you're gonna do is go up here like colors and down here to threshold this is gonna change everything all at once to into like a stencil format you know grab this little slider and then you can drag it left and right on depending on what you want the image to look like but I'm keeping it just black and white um, over this is how it changes everything and you lose like your picture quality you can go all the way to right and make it all totally silhouetted and stuff but I'm just gonna try to get the coat to like stick out a little bit more as far as looking like a jacket and not lose so much as far as details in the AK-47 but I'll change that separately as well um, that's just that this is a general idea of what I'm gonna do okay so this is what the image looks like after I went through and select everything kind of change every um, part of the image as far as like how I want it to look for the, for the most part now my idea is I'm gonna put on a black shirt so the background's gonna be black so I have to invert the image and change everything to like reflect with white because I'm gonna keep it black and white but roughly this is how it's gonna look um, I said it may not look the greatest right now but this is what the idea of how everything's all right, the next thing I'm gonna do with the chief is just I'm gonna select just around like a rough selection, I guess around this area of the war bonnet and his face all the way around. And I'm gonna like uh, do the same thing as I did with the terrorist. So that's all I'm selecting. Cause that's all that matters. That's the only part that I want of the image. Okay, so with the terrorist image, I have to open up another tab or create a new tab which is 11 by um, eight and a half inches. And I took the original image that is copied and pasted into here because I needed more room for the warp on it to extend into this area. So went over here, I selected the warp on it area minus the face, which is the dot lines. Um, I copied it and then I'm gonna go and paste it onto here. Now it's facing the wrong direction. I'm gonna hit this like double arrow icon over here and then come over here and change the double arrow. I don't know if you can see it or not. The double arrow right there. I'm gonna tap the image and it's gonna flip. You can go grab these four arrows going in different directions that allows you to move it. And once you hover over the image, you'll see those four arrows. You click and hold and you're able to move the image. And now I just position it um, basically how I wanted to look onto the this terrace image and I'm gonna go and to the threshold area which is like colors threshold and it's gonna change everything to like um, like to where you can change it to like black and white and just kind of play with the settings until I get it to how I want it to look but that's the gist of everything okay so on the in and head motorcycle image uh, I selected the skull uh, I copied it and I'm going to go over here to the image that I'm working with and I am going to paste it onto um, the actual image and I said it's the wrong way so I'm going to flip it and then I'm going to move it into the position where I want it to be and then I don't know if you can see everything let's see if we focus it it's not like really, it's still like in a photo format. So I'm just going to threshold and thresholds and change it to where it looks, everything looks the same. Like let's, let's see if we'll focus it. Uh, that's the way it is like threshold. And then we'll go change it back. This is what it looked like. It's kind of like a photo format. I don't know if you can really tell or not, but anyway, that's the gist of everything. Um, once I get everything put together, I'll take another video and I'll show you what. Alright, so after editing and everything, this is what the finished product is going to look like for the most part. Um, so I'll have to, I'm going to make a t-shirt out of it, so I'm going to uh, put the vinyl in and everything, but it should come out pretty uh, good, I think. But yeah, so that's how you do it.